Come fill your glasses, fellows, and stand up in a row. For drinking sentimentally, we're going for to go. Put away that grog, boys. Old Hitch is coming. Having uttered these words, West Point Cadet Jefferson Davis observed with dismay that Captain Ethan Allen Hitchcock was already in the room. Davis, the future president of the Confederacy, was sent back to his quarters, narrowly avoiding court-martial in what would become known as the Eggnog Riot of Christmas 1826. Several cadets had smuggled in jugs of rum and whiskey earlier in the day, vowing not to allow the Academy's recent ban on liquor to spoil their annual eggnog habit. Benny Havens, a local tavern owner who had supplied some of the illicit booze, was later immortalized in a song that became popular during the American Civil War. What would those cadets have been drinking in 1826? Well, it is currently 7.16 a.m. and we are going to find out with Thomas Webster's 1817 whiskey sodden recipe for eggnog. Old man's milk of Scotland or eggnog of America. Beat the yolks and whites of six eggs separately. Put to the beet yolks, sugar, and a quart of new milk or thin sweet cream. Add to this rum, whiskey, or brandy about half a pint. Put in the whites of the eggs whipped up and stir the whole gently. It may be flavored with nutmeg or rind of lemon. It is 7.45 and we have two steaming cups of eggnog. Delicious, let's try it. It's the first time I ever tried whiskey, but not bad. It's fine. Thank you for joining us as we savor the flavors and the aromas of the early 19th century. So we'll cheer our hearts with choruses at Benny Havens O. Oh, Benny Havens O. Benny Havens O. We'll sing our reminiscences of Benny Havens O.